Hello everyone, in this video we will be continuing with our regex tutorials and I'll be showing you a data cleaning tip that is completely mind-blowing. So I've just received this data set from my data entry clerk who's helping us with putting together all of the courses registered by our students in the Data Academy and we have the list of courses here and the data entry clerk has used comma separated values to impute all of the courses registered by students into the same cells. And we have to do a lookup to pull all of this course list into all the boxes here. And to do that, we will be using the X lookup function, but I'll show you how it works in the back end and then show you the workaround formula that's gonna help us do this. Let's dive right in. So let's do a little bit of a breakdown to see how the formula works. And then I'm going to show you the workaround. So I'm going to be using XLOOKUP. I'm going to open parentheses XLOOKUP. And I'm going to open the curly braces. And I'm going to type what I have in this box. I'm going to go 3, 7, 9, 6. And I'm going to close curly braces. And the lookup array is going to be here for sure. So I'm going to zoom out. So it's going to be in the course list and that's here. Comma. And this is the return array. Comma. If not found, let's just type in NF. And match mode, it has to be regex because I'm trying to do a pattern match here. So I'm going to close parentheses, hit enter. And we can see that it returns the courses corresponding to these numbers. So let's do a visual check here, three and seven. So what is three? Three is data wrangling and pre-processing and seven is big data analytics. So that is, that is spot on. So how do we replicate this uh, into one single formula so that we can use it across all of this without having to enter it manually? And that's where we're just gonna be manipulating a couple of formulas together. So I'm going to hit delete here. I'm going to go back and type in X lookup. So there are a couple of things that I want to do. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to hit escape. So first I want to split this text in this cell. So let me zoom in so you can see better. So this is going to be equals text split. It's all the way down there. I'm going to hit tab. And I'm going to select this one. What is the delimiter? It's a comma. So I'm going to open quote marks, put in the comma. And that's just about it. I'm going to wrap it up and then hit enter. And we can see that it splits all of the numbers into different cells. So the next thing that I want to do is I don't know if there's a space in between in anywhere along here. So I'm going to trim just to be sure that there's no spaces that's going to throw an error somewhere along the line. So I'm going to trim this data and I'm going to hit enter. We're not going to see any changes here. It's it's just a, a way to take care of any spaces that's not currently visible to the eye, but could be there. So now this is going to be our lookup value. It's replicating exactly what I did with the curly braces at the beginning of the tutorial. So now I'm going to start typing X lookup and this is going to be the lookup value. So I'm just going to go comma. It's asking up for the lookup array. I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to come here and select this as a lookup array. Hit comma and the return array is in this column. I'm going to select it. But because I'm going to be using this formula across different cells, I would need to lock these references. So I'm going to use the F4 to lock, F4 to lock one more time. Then comma, if not found, I always use NF, meaning not found. And what is the match mode? Because it's a regular expression pattern. We're going to select regex here. We're going to close parentheses, hit enter. And it works exactly the same way as we had before. Now I'm going to just send this down all the way. And that way we've been able to solve that problem of doing a lookup with multiple values within the same cell.
If you find this content useful, share with others, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.